All right, here's a uh, short tutorial on the DNA 80 with eScribe. First thing you want to do is download the latest version, Service Pack 57 from eScribe. Uh, once you have it loaded on your computer, open it up, you'll see a screen that looks just like this one. Um, Connect the device to a USB-C plugged into your computer and you'll get a pop-up like this, a device found, DNA 80 color, click on OK. It will download what's written on the board directly to eScribe. Next, what you should do is click this save icon so you always have the master file that came with your device. In case you make a mistake or start playing around with themes and colors and settings and want to revert back to the original, uh, so click save, make a file name, and save it. I'm going to cancel it for now. Um, and here's all, all the different functions of the DNA 80 through, through eScribe. Um, so this is the main screen setting. Uh, this could all be done, obviously, through the device. But if you wanted to change it here, you have your power wattage. You have your boost level all the way from 0 to 11, and your warmth from 1 to 11. Um, next tab is safety. Um, it's going to default. These are Evolve defaults. Uh, a 7 second is the maximum puff time. Uh, the device, when you lock it, it, it will... No, I take that back. 60 minutes, the device will lock itself of 60 minutes of no use. And you could also change how many times you want to click to unlock it. The default is five. If you wanted to make this, say, three clicks instead of five, just change it to three. Um, and that's automatically lock it when it's idle. Display, I'll come back to. Mod. Um, you've got a few sub-tabs here. Replay mode. Do you want replay mode on unlikely coils or viable coils only? Or allow on du dubious coils? Um, default is set to allow on unlikely. Um, back to puff time, minimum power, maximum power. If, if you don't want to ever go up to 80 watts, for instance, you could restrict it down here to 60 or 50 or whatever. Um, battery, I would not pay much attention to. Electrical also, um, not much. Uh, if you wanted to flip the screen on this model, it doesn't, doesn't do anything. Um, this is just blank also. Uh, research also, not to be concerned with. The big thing here is the display. Um, so we have all of these settings here that, that we could adjust. Um, I'll start from the top. You have the brightness level. You have which fonts you want to use. The main font, the ohms font, and the wattage font. So these are your different fonts, and, and the size of them, you can change to any font, the lettering in any size, if it's too big, if it's too small. Um, <clears throat> then you have this section here, which is all of the graphics. Um, you have a, a settings icon, a replay icon, when replay is enabled, when it's disabled, battery charging, uh, the logo on the splash screen. You can click on any of these and set it, save it, or reset and, and to, to blank and start all over. Set, you could load your own. If, if you don't like what this settings icon is, download one from the internet and change it. This 
section here has to do with the position on the screen that each of these um, settings, e each of these dis will be displayed. How high it is, the leftness, the rightness, um, if you want to lower it, if you want to swap things around into different positions, you'll, you'll play with the, 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 four, the four variables here. Uh, we move down to color schemes. With the DNA 80 color, you have four saved profiles. Um, these can be swapped through the settings uh, directly on the board. Um, one is a classic look, two is a blue look, and these are backgrounds. So you can change if you notice here, it's, the first setting is very minimalistic. It's, it's black, highlighted text is blue, selected is white. These are your text colors, your pictures, if you have any patterns. You could do wallpapers and change the wallpapers. You just click it and load whatever kind of wallpaper you want there. Um, and each, each of these have different variables whatever you want to whatever you want to select in here uh, you could customize your colors of each of these um, the remaining section is for languages uh, default is English uh, and that's as of now the only one that'll come on it but if you don't speak English and you want to have Spanish or you want to have Japanese or any other thing out there, um, you can just go into here, load the name of whatever prof language profile you want, name it, and then just type in what you want it to say when there's no atomizer. You want to just make custom things. Um, just type in there, this is what will display on the screen. Um, you could also put uh, a lock screen text. If you didn't want to use over here the boot up logo on the lock screen, you could type whatever text you want in here. You could create your own logo if you want, but if you just want text up there, just type it in here and the text will display. Uh, and that's pretty much it. When, when you have all your settings done, uh, save it, create a new file name, not the original one that you downloaded, which is the boxer default, uh, but, but come up with a unique, unique name for your settings, save it, um, and then come over to here, upload to device, and in about four seconds, it loads everything to your device and you're good to go.